what happened was we were using these cabinets. They looked like four by 12 cabinets, looked quite like Marshall Speaker's cabinets, but these were called Sound City. And they had like metal grating and you could see the speakers, you know, and they had circles. So we had painted all the circles around the speakers. This is, you might be able to find an old picture of that set somewhere, but we used that. We put Celestial speakers. We kind of customized those speakers and, and used the Marshall heads. And um, they were circles. And our logo has a bullseye behind the. If you look at the logo, it's kind of like a, a bullseye with the logo inside. So I just said to uh, Charvel, they were started making that, that company, it was the new company, they started making all these graphic Stratocaster style guitars. Um, so I told them to make me a pink and black one, pink and black circles. I didn't specify bullseye. And when I got the guitar, I said, oh, okay, this is quite cool. I never expected it to become this well-known thing. Like, you know, I was kind of shocked. It became a bit iconic. I'm not trying to brag about it. I'm just like, it surprised me too. That, and I mean, I've even seen uh, ads for the band that we're playing and they'll have a picture of my guitar you know, with a, a picture of the band in front of it. I'm like, and I've seen that quite a bit. Um, it does spark a bit of jealousy at times with other members, but I didn't, I wasn't out to do that. I wasn't trying to like showboat or like, hey, look at me. I just decided to get a cool, you know, graphic guitar because that was the thing at the time. People were starting to do that, the custom graphic designs, and they were relatively cheap to get it. You know, I think you could get one, done for like seven eight hundred dollars you know at the time and so it was you know like i like i said i never expected because that people see that guitar and they know it's the guy from twisted sister they might not know my name but they know you know me from the guitar so it kind of has a life of its own i should give it its own uh twitter page it's a great idea yeah <laughs> just in terms of it happens, you know yeah, yeah it happens that well people have things with dogs and stuff like that nowadays don't they it's crazy um in terms of the, you mentioned a bit of jealousy then what, what what was said and and who was saying it nobody said anything but you know you can sense it i guess nobody said anything i think in the beginning people were cool about it but i, I think towards as the years went on, I think there was a certain spark of uh, jealousy there, um, which wasn't, wasn't my intention, you know. Uh, but, I mean, it happens with bands, no matter what it is. Even if it's not a guitar, it'll be something else. <laughs> you know, it's just notorious. Band, you know, five guys in the same band touring, all being together all the time, it's difficult. You know, you have all these personalities. At the same time, you're becoming famous. So the e everybody's ego gets a little more out of control. And that's when stuff, stuff starts hitting the fan, so to, so to speak. <laughs> Absolutely. It comes with the territory, man. That's yeah. what it is. And talk, talking about that, that reunion tour and everything, everything just kind of it blew up for you. I spoke to, to JJ, as I said earlier, and um, he was saying you, you guys came back and all of a sudden you, you were headliners in Europe and you were headlining over all these massive bands and you, everyone welcomed you back and you were, you were superstars again. I mean, how did that feel at that time to, to come back and, and be received that way? Well, it was, it was great because we were all broke. <laughs> so <laughs> it was really good. Uh, the fact that we came back as big, we were bigger than ever, you know? And I think a part of that was that we we just, like a lot of other bands broke up and there was three versions of the band and only one guy with the four other guys, and, you know, but we always, we, no, we didn't do that. And we came back with all the original members, all the guys that were in the videos. So I think that had a lot to do with it. It was the original band. The fact that we were now headlining all these huge festivals where we used to be, we used to open up in the daytime. I remember being like fourth or fifth on the bill, you know, and now we're headlining, you know, so it was awesome. I felt like it was well-deserved too. It was about time. I thought that finally we got that recognition. It took a long time, you know, so it was definitely awesome. And it's still like, you know, even 
I mean, we stopped touring in 2016, but you know, we left like on top. You know, we we could have kept working, but we just said that's it. You know, and after 40 years, so we said. And now I think because a lot of bands are re retiring, bands like Kiss and stuff aren't going to be touring anymore. They like they want a lot of these. It's, a lot of people still want to see the '80s bands, you know. So I think offers are coming in, but I don't know what's going to happen with that because. I mean, I guess there's a number. If they reach the right number, people will get back together no matter what, right? I mean, 